A new group has been launched at UNESCO under Seoul's lead to address the discrimination and xenophobia that rose during the pandemic. It's the third and final of the three UN groups South Korea planned to establish. Woo jung gets us better acquainted with the function they serve. The global COVID-19 pandemic has identified a number of tasks for the international community to work on. Developing vaccines, building better medical systems, and sharing know-how on stopping the virus. But in fighting pandemics, South Korea saw that health security is not the only field where countries should cooperate. Another key agenda is creating a sense of global citizenship to help prevent hatred and xenophobia. That's why at UNESCO, South Korea is leading the new Group of Friends for Solidarity and Inclusion with Global Citizenship Education. South Korea chairs the group, and there are 10 other member countries, including Italy, Bangladesh, and Senegal. On Tuesday, more than 100 international figures, including UNESCO Director General Audrey Azoulé and South Korea's Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa met online to mark the group's launch. As the virus spreads around the globe, there have been reports of incidents involving discrimination, stigmatization, and even physical assaults against certain racial and ethnic groups. While the virus harms the body, discrimination harms the mind. And just as we need a vaccine to protect against a viral disease, we need education to fight against prejudice and hatred. Since the start of the pandemic, South Korea has led the establishment of three groups at the UN to promote international cooperation. In addition to that, Seoul is working to actively share its COVID-19 related knowledge and experience with other countries through regular web seminars and policy materials. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.